Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting math problem today. x to the fourth equal to x minus 1 to the fourth power. A lot of students do this mistake, they just like cancel this 4 because we cannot try this, we just can take fourth root on both sides and we will have like x equal to x minus 1 and they tell okay x equal to maybe like 1 half I guess, I don't want to tell it uh, right now because I, do, I don't want to need this answer if we're talking about this method. This is incorrect method, because if you're talking about all roots, we need like to solve it, we have a paper, we need to solve it like on not in one line, only in two line, because this is a forced equation. If you solve, for example, quadratic equation, we will have like, maybe like that, we have, we need this space, so maybe half of this paper we need to space. But what about this force power? We need maybe a little bit bigger space, yeah? So to solve it, so we cannot solve it like in two lines. But how can we solve it? Take a look closely. We have x minus 1 to the force and right here x to the force. I write it x to the force right now, so x to the force equal to, and force power, this is really good to raise, because we maybe, and not all students know this, but this is, if you know about polynomial theorem, we can raise this to the fourth power. I just wanted to raise this and I hope you understand it. So if we wanted to raise this to the fourth power, we will have x to the fourth minus 4x cubed, this is polynomial theorem, plus 6x square minus 4x and plus 1. Yeah, this is polynomial theorem, so I don't want to to explain this theorem, this is maybe not this is not hard theorem, so you can easily learn it and to raise to the fourth power. Okay, what we're we going to do next? Take a look closely. X to the fourth and x to the fourth. This side, this side, we can easily cancel it, and this is really great because right now we have a we have a cube equation. What equation we will have? 4x cube, 4x cube minus 6x square plus 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Yeah, so we have this situation. And right now there are a lot of methods how can we solve it, but I want to show you maybe the best one. Take a look closely, really interesting trick right now. Let's multiply both sides by 2. If we multiply by 2, we will have right here, what do we have? We will have 8x cube minus 12x square plus 8x and minus 2 equal to 0. So we just multiply by 2. And a lot of students ask me why I multiplied by 2. And I tell them really interesting moment. Take a look closely. 8, this is 2 cube. Yeah? So as a result, 2 cube times x cube. Okay, let's go next. Minus 3 times 4 times x square. Yeah, so this is 3 times 4. This is our 12. What about 8? 8, this is our plus 4 times 2x and minus 2. We write it the same. Okay, what it tells us, take a look closely, a to the x times b to the x, we can write it as 2x all raised to the cube minus 3 times 4. So 4, we can write it as 2 square and with this x we will have 3 times 2x square. Okay, let's go next plus 4 times 2x, this is without any changes, and minus 2 equal to 0. This is really interesting trick because maybe this is not like a popular trick because this is uh, this is only about situation. It's really good to multiply it and we'll have this expression, which is really good because we have 2x, we have 2x, and we have 2x. Okay, our 2x will be equal to, for example, let's go u, doesn't matter, we'll have like equation u cube minus 3u square plus 4u and minus 2 equal to 0. Yeah, we have this expression. And this is cube equation, yeah? There are a lot of formulas, how can we solve it? There are a lot of approaches, how can we solve it? So let's try to factor it. How can you factor it? Let's go, for example, with factors. Let's start with factors. So factors. What factors we have? We have two. What about factors? So 1, 2, minus 1 and minus 2. So as you can see there is not like a big amount of these factors of these two. So it's really great. Because as you can see by inspection if you plug in u equal to 1, so what do we have? 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus minus 2. Yeah? Okay, let's try to calculate it real quick. So 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 2. I guess this is equal to 0. So our u equal to 1, this is our factor. So u equal to 1 is our factor, and there are a lot of approaches how can we find another factor, but take a look closely what I, what I do every time. So we have u cube, yeah? u cube. I write minus u square 
minus 2u square because we have 3u and the next I write plus 2u plus 2u because we have plus 4u and minus 2 and a lot of students ask me about this trick and why I write this because this is like a more complicated expression but take a look closely first two element u cube minus u square let's factor u square if you factor u square in parentheses u minus 1 which is our factor then minus 2u square plus 2u let's factor minus 2u in parentheses u minus 1 okay the last one 2u minus 2 let's factor so plus 2 and u minus 1 equal to 0 Okay, factor it. Take a look closely. u minus 1, u minus 1, and u minus 1. So we can easily factor this equation. So u minus 1, and in second parentheses from here, u square minus 2u and plus 2 equal to 0. Yeah, we have finally we factor our problem, and this is really great. And right now we can easily solve it because we have like a product equal to 0, then u minus 1 equal to 0, and the second parentheses, u square minus 2u plus 2 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, so we can easily solve it right now real quick. So we have u second and third, because this is u first, so I just want to separate it. So u second and third will be equal to minus b, so 2 plus minus square root b square, so 4 minus 4 times 2, so 8, so minus 4, over 2, which is equal to 2 plus minus, right here we can easily find this with the minus sign and with, the, with this 4, this is equal to 2i over 2. Or if you are talking about, about this expression, this is equal to 1 plus minus i. This is our answer, if you are talking about u. But what about our x? We know that our u equal to 2x, which is really great, because if you have u, if you wanted to find x, you just need to multiply it by 2. And as a result, our x, our x second and third will be equal to, will be equal to 1 plus minus i, so plus minus i over 2. This is our complex solution right here. And real number root, u minus 1 equal to 0, then u equal to 1, and 2x equal to u, so 2x equal to 1, x equal to 1 half. This is our x first. This is our, our solution. 1 half and 1 plus minus i over, over 2. I hope you understand this solution. If you don't understand, pause the video and, and or watch this video once more. This really good you to know how to solve cube equation. This is the first step. Second step, how can we factor it? And the last step, maybe how to solve quadratic equation. This is maybe the main difficulties right here. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.